Hi guys, welcome back to the Birds Party channel. Today I'm going to share with you how to make this really cool DIY blanket ladder. In a previous Trash to Treasure video, I showed you guys how I made over this bamboo ladder that you can see here on my left. And ever since I've been wanting to make my own ladder to decorate my dining room from scratch. I've seen these sort of ladders made here on YouTube on numerous occasions, so this is not a novel idea of mine. But these ladders are usually made with Dollar Tree products like rolling pins, rulers and anything else that you can find at the Dollar Tree. But as you know, I live in France, I do not have access to the Dollar Tree and I'm not going out to buy anything new. So I decided to use scrap wood that I already have at home that has been sitting in my garage for a long time and make this beautiful modern farmhouse blanket ladder. So hopefully this video will inspire you to do the same and just scour your home and have a look at the props that you already have in your craft stash, perhaps sitting in your garage as well and make the best use of materials that you have handed to you wherever you are in the world. So with that being said, let's get crafting. So the first thing that I did for this project was to gather up the wood that I had in my garage to use for this project. As you can see, my wood is all the same, but some of the pieces have been used before, they've been painted, they've been cut off. So basically I'm really using scrap wood that I already have in my garage. And I have two pieces for the sides, so for the vertical pieces and a few odds and ends for the horizontal uh, steps of the ladder. As you can see, they're all different sizes but they're the same thickness. You don't have to use the same thickness wood, you could use for the sides like thin pieces of wood and for the steps you could use something a little bit wider, it's up to you. And what I did first was uh, to find out how much wood I needed was to measure the, um, the gap in between each step and then decide how many horizontal steps that I needed, obviously depending on how much wood I had. Feel free to use whatever gap uh, you want whatever distance between the steps. I used about 30 centimeters. Uh, I don't quite know what that is in inches. <laughs> I'll be sure to leave it down in the description box. Uh, but so the the spacing in between each step was 30 centimeters for me, and I ended up having uh, five horizontal steps. Obviously, this is not an exact science, and it will vary depending on how much wood you have on hand for this type of project. So once I decided how many steps I needed for my ladder, uh, I went in with a simple saw and tried to straighten off the edges because like I said this was scrap wood, so some of the edges were a bit jaggedy, so I just straightened that off and then proceeded to cut all my pieces of wood for the horizontal steps of the ladder. And I have to say that if you don't have a saw like this and a bench like this, you can simply use a simple uh, hand saw, you know, one of those little small saws if you have a thin piece of wood like I did and just to use that. Obviously, if you have a circular saw or mitre saw, use that as well. And obviously, be extremely careful. Move any kids away from the area where you're cutting. Make sure that you protect yourselves, you know, gloves, uh, goggles, move your fingers away and all that. So when I had all my pieces cut, I went in with a measuring tape and measured the distance from the top of the ladder uh, for the first horizontal step. And this is again up to you. It would depend on how many uh, steps you have. So divide that equally and just start with the first one. Now here you have several options depending on the kind of wood that you have. To assemble my ladder, because I had very thin pieces of wood, I was able to get away with some strong glue like E6000. You could also use some hot glue here, so two types of glue. The hot glue would make uh, the, the pieces adhere more quickly and the strong glue like the E6000 would make it adhere more permanently. But I didn't want to use hot glue, I just wanted something a little bit more secure because my pieces of wood were a little bit warped, so they weren't straight. So the horizontal pieces weren't sitting there properly. So I decided to add a couple of nails on either side. But as you can see, the wood was so thin they cracked a little bit. It's no big deal, obviously this is an optional step. You could also use staples. If you put the horizontal pieces not on top of the two uh, vertical pieces, if you just put them in between, I hope that makes any sense. You don't need to use nails, you could use some staples. And I tried that, but it didn't work with mine, like I said, because it was really warped. So I did the strong glue and the nail technique and then afterwards I went in to fix the little cracks with some 
uh, grout or spackling and you could even use um, wood filler you know that you can find in Dollar Tree and different craft stores as well so if you choose the option uh, just to use the strong glue with the hot glue that's totally okay because it's a decorative ladder obviously you can't put anything strong on it uh, but blankets and anything like that small baskets and plants and reefs it'll work perfectly okay uh, like it did with mine and I have to tell you as well that on some of my horizontal pieces uh, of wood I had some knots you know wood knots so I was not able to add uh, a nail because it would completely split and you're not even able to add any screws you can see there I have a knot on the top as well so if that happens to you if you have a knot it's impossible to add a nail or staples or anything like that just use the hot glue and the strong glue and use some clamps to clamp the two pieces of wood together I didn't have enough clamps to clamp all the steps but for the last one I had to do that because I had a knot on there and I was not able to screw nor add the nail like I said and when I was finished assembling everything and the glue was fully dry the following day I added some spackling or grout to fill in the gaps the little cracks that I had when I added the nails uh, and then when that was dry uh, I used a fine grit sandpaper or sanding block just to sand the surfaces and make sure that everything was nice and smooth and all the pieces of wood were a little bit smooth as well before painting Now to paint my ladder I decided to paint it white because I did not have a white ladder I've got a brown one so I really wanted a white one to go in my dining room and I used just matte white paint that I had at home and obviously at this step you can use whatever paint color that you have handy to you or that will suit your decor you could use brown you could use black I think that look really cool as well for a modern farmhouse look or any other color you like really uh, so it's up to you what you use you know I just um, had this pot of white paint in my garage which is actually for walls but it worked really well with the wood and I only needed one coat obviously don't forget to paint the sides or the steps you know once that's dry turn your ladder over and paint the other side as well and here it is the ladder completely dry as you can see we cannot see any more of the cracks uh, that were left by the nails and I think it looks so cool obviously you could stop there you don't have to do this next step but I had this uh, nautical uh, cord or rope at home already and I really wanted to uh, add a little bit of detailing to that and make it look really like rustic and more uh, farmhousey if that's a word <laughs> and I actually saw uh, this uh, detailing on a blanket ladder that uh, Bargain Bethany made she makes quite a few ladders using Dollar Tree products and she's really inspiring I'll make sure to leave the link uh, down in the description box to her channel so you can check out her DIYs so I got this idea from her and I think it's it looks really effective and looks really nice for a modern farmhouse decor so basically to add this a little bit of uh, core detailing all I did was to cut off uh, the pieces of the nautical rope the nautical cord and I used two pieces per cross section there where you have uh, a vertical piece meeting one of the horizontal steps hope that makes any sense but you can see what I'm doing here so basically I used the rope on the front of the ladder made an X or a cross and used a bit of hot glue to secure everything in place so when that was done and I made sure that everything looked nice and straight and the the X's or the crosses looked nice to the front of the ladder then I turned the ladder around to hot glue the pieces at the back obviously you don't have to use hot glue you can just tie the knots yourself but I found this was the easiest way to add this cross detailing to my ladder When you finish that for all the sides of the ladder you should end up with something that looks like this I think it's so cool to decorate any space in your home and I've styled it a little bit to show you 
uh, what you could do and give you some ideas but obviously feel free to swap out the decor and the blankets to suit your own taste and the seasons hope you guys enjoyed this video and feel inspired to create your own blanket ladder at home and please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it because it lets me know that you like this kind of content and if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button so you don't miss any of the videos that i post here each week Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye bye.